In the year 2099, humanity embarked on a journey of interstellar exploration. Across the stars, we approach strange new worlds. As explorers descend from the sky, the rulers of alien domains bare their claws and fangs. Crisis and competition await. Yet the footsteps of those who seek the unknown never falter. We've arrived on Kepler 452B. Our top priority is explore the area and set up our base. I've detected large amounts of resources nearby. Please send an RR2 on a resource gathering mission. We need more energy to activate the command center. Commander, I've picked up a weak signal from nearby. We need to find out what it is. Data shows that this planet is home to a dangerous species called the Grod, so please be careful. Excuse me, have you seen my arm? I lost it, and I can't move without the balance it provides. Hooray! My arm! I can't thank you enough. My guardian angel, you put me back together. I was working for a commander here until he was eaten by the Grod. It's been so long since I've seen humans. So, who are you? And why are you here? You're a commander too? Then you're in luck. The name's RR7. I'm a Type 7 reclamation robot designed for exploration and aiding commanders. There are many facilities that we can use around here. Oh, I see a solar plant under the fog there. Okay, now let's check out that solar plant. Come with me. Exploring fog-shrouded areas is my specialty. See? The solar plant is right here. Once activated, it can provide enough power for your base. Great! Now we can produce our own energy. RR2 won't have to keep going out and gathering it. Hold on, I just received a list of missions from headquarters. According to the list, our top priority is to rebuild the base.
What was that? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh no! It's the Grodd! We're doomed! We don't have enough firepower to stop them. Quick, let's find a good hiding place. Looks like you got a little bug problem. Well, you're in luck. Old Parker can handle it. Calm down. I'm here to help. I built RR2X with my own hands. It's more than enough to deal with a couple of bugs. We need to set up a formation before entering combat. Mechs are my favorite type of vehicle. That's my buddy over there. Say hello to my little buddy, RR2X. RR2.X? I've never heard of this type. It's even got a giant electromagnetic gun. Actually, I customized RR2X myself. Check out the specs. Electromagnetic gun, comfortable cockpit, it's got everything you could want. In spite of the fact that it's mostly scavenged, RR2X is a nice little piece of mech that you can... I brought uh, some scavengers who are familiar with operating mechs. Now we can set up a mech formation. Great, we're ready to rock and roll. Now let's go squash some bugs. R2X, let's kick some grot ass. That's strange. I feel like there's been more and more grot around here recently. I've seen my fair share of them. About a decade ago, I even killed a couple grot behemoths. This guy looks tough. I feel less afraid of the Grodd just by having him around. I think we should invite him to join us. I'll never say no to killing the Grodd. I may be old, but used to be I was an old. The scavenger camp to the south of here has a lot of veterans. We should check it out. I reckon they'd be interested in taking on the Grodd. <laughs> Rebuilding our base out here in the wastelands won't be easy. We could use more help. got bad news. The scavengers are starving and need food. None of them will fight on an empty stomach. We don't have much food left either. How much do they need? What do you say? Should we help those scavengers? Okay, let me see. 280 packs of food should be enough to feed all the scavengers. Also, this place used to be a mobilization center. We could use it to train these scavengers into qualified reservists. 280 servings of food coming up. I'll make RR2 start gathering right away. But it might take a while to collect all that food, since we only have one RR2. I got an RR2 here. It's another one of my old buddies. That'll help you collect food faster. Mm -hmm. 
sounds great. Commander, now we can order both robots to collect food at the same time. Okay, RR2s, get busy. Scavengers are willing to join us. They even turned their old home back into a mobilization center so we can start training reservists. With proper training, those scavengers will become qualified reservists. And with enough reservists, we can replenish all of our formations anytime we need. Okay, we're losing daylight here. Let's train our first batch of reservists. Putting our base in shape. Headquarters will gradually send us more building facilities. Oh, we're getting sent a solar plant. Building a solar plant can increase our energy production. Let's get to it. What the hell? Could that be the Grod? Scanning. Magnitude 3.5 earthquake detected. The source of the tremors is located to the southwest. Unable to con- An earthquake? That's new. I thought it was the Grod. I'm not gonna lie. My circuits were buzzing. Earthquakes, the Grod. You never know what we're gonna have to face out here. We'd better collect as many resources as we can.
Would you like to check your hero archives? Let me tell you more about your heroes. After the upgrade, their troop capacity will increase accordingly. Each specialty has its own unique features. Be sure to send the right guy for the right task, or once upgraded, they'll be able to leave more combat units. Now let's replenish their formation with more units. As long as your formation meets certain requirements, the heroes... There are lots of important details about your heroes here in the Hero Archives. You can always come back and check them out. Oh my, look what the cat dragged in. Oh my god, Pops Parker! Long time no see. Yikes, that belly of yours only got bigger. Still moody, I see. What are you doing here? I was looking for the analysis lab to get the new weapon I ordered. You see that heap of ruins behind me? Yeah, that's it. Is the new weapon in the drop pod over there? Now I'm intrigued. You can fix that heap of junk, right, Parker? Well, you're in luck, Max. You find me some metal and I'll take care of the analysis lab. Oh, right, Parker. We can always count on you. you turn those ruins into this shiny new facility. Never would have thought. I'll take the compliment. When it comes to fixing things, I'm your guy. Max, come on. Show us the new weapon you ordered. I can't wait. Right on. Let's get this drop pod analyzed. started to analyze the drop pod. It'll take some time. Ooh, I love this feeling. It's like waiting to open presents. Wow, that's a big tank. It's a bulwark, classic and rare. It looks like most of Of course it's amazing. It cost me a fortune. Max, we're planning to rebuild the base right here, and we could use more help. What do you say? You want to join us? Rebuild the base? Here? You people must be crazy. Ah, you know me. I like it crazy. <laughs> Great, welcome aboard. With you here, we can finally set up a tank formation. Now, dispatch that tank to me. It's gorgeous, but I'm really added to my formation. 
Hope I get to test drive it soon! Great! My special skill's been activated! Looks like me and the Bulwark really hit it up. We already have some reservists in our base. I can train them to drive tanks. Nice. Soon this thing will be grinding up the grot under its treads. I know how you drive, Bonnie. The grot don't stand a chance with you behind the wheel. Gee, Pops, why do I get the feeling you're trying to sweet-talk me into leading the next fight? <laughs> you got me there. Tanks do have a better defense, though. It makes more sense to have you lead the charge. Ah, yeah, don't worry. I'll be up front to shield you and your little R2X when the fighting starts, old man. Lucky me! There's another RR2 in the analysis lab. Now I get to take my new bulwark for spin! Awesome! This thing runs like a dream! Don't get too cocky, Bonnie. Relax, Pop. This bulwark's stronger than you think. With you two around, I've grown far less afraid of losing another arm. I wouldn't get too comfy. The grout have been showing up a lot lately, and it's stirring up some bad memories for me. Come on, old man, you worry too much. It's not like there's a grout behemoth around here or anything. We'll be fine. 